What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video, and today we are going to talk about Star Wars Galaxy of Hero or Galaxy of Adventures, I think. Um, it's this animated series where they're basically retelling the original trilogy, which I never really felt like it was a big deal because uh, I mean, I watched some of the earlier episodes and they were fine. Um, it, it, ultimately, why don't you just show kids the original trilogy? But I get it. You want to try to make more money, and, and I understand that. Now, they've, they, they've kind of shown their true colors. They've shown their true colors because now they've shown an episode from uh, with Luke and Leia with A New Hope, and they're basically just ignoring the fact that Han, Luke, and Leia work together to escape. They, they're ignoring the aspect of teamwork. They're, they're ignoring all of that, and they're basically just highlighting the fact that there was a badass whammon. And she took control. She took control over the bumbling, stumbling, stupid-ass men. And they make Luke Skywalker. This is worse, to me, this is worse than what they did to him in The Last Jedi. What they did to him in this show. And they're basically just trying to condition kids that are going to watch this. They're basically trying to rewrite history and condition kids to think that women are the most badass creatures to ever live and men are stupid. That's the message that they are sending with this. And let me remind you, let me remind you what Kathleen Kennedy sat there and told George Lucas right after he sold Star Wars to Disney and allowed her to take over his creation. Let me remind you what she said. It has to be there. <laughs> I'm doing this so that the films will have a longer life and so that more fans and people can enjoy them in the future. It's a very big universe I've created, and there's a lot of stories that are sitting in there. The main thing is to protect these characters, make sure that they still continue to, to live in the way that you created them, and that the universe of Star Wars continues to grow. I get to be a fan now, which is what I was saying. Huh. Well, how does that sound to you? Kathleen Kennedy straight up lying to George Lucas, lying to Star Wars fans, lying to everybody. She's done nothing but push a feminist agenda into Star Wars. She has destroyed Star Wars, and they're doubling down on it. They, they haven't learned anything. They haven't learned anything. If, if, any, if, if, if anything, they've gotten worse. Because this, to me, is even worse than what they did to Luke in The Last Jedi. You're actively, you're actively trying to change history, and you're trying to condition young minds to believing what you want them to believe and not what actually happened. And then people are going to say, well, this is just a movie. I don't know what the big deal is. Because I decided it was a big deal. And you don't have to. If you don't like what I have to say, don't fucking watch the channel. This is my opinion. You don't have to like my opinion. You can cry about it all damn day long, but I'm still going to give my opinion. This is how I feel about it. And Disney and Lucasfilm are trying to rewrite the history of Star Wars. They tried to do this with Solo. Now they're trying to do this with the original trilogy, with this stupid-ass little cartoon that they're gearing and targeting kids with. And they're trying to rewrite history, rewrite certain aspects of this trilogy so young kids will be conditioned to think what they want and not to know exactly what happened. Why do you have to make Luke Skywalker look like a bumbling, stumbling, terrified idiot? That's not what happened. It's absolutely not what happened. Leia didn't smack him. That did not happen. So what was the active decision to do this? What was the motivation behind this decision? There had to be a conscious decision behind it. What was that conscious decision? That decision was feminism, pro-feminism agenda. This is all about making men look bad and making women look awesome. Why don't you just worry about the fact that there were three people, regardless of race, sex, and gender, that worked together to make something happen and to show that working together and believing in each other and teamwork, that should be the true message of this because that is the message of what happened. But no, Disney wants to rewrite history with their feminazi agenda, and we're so tired of it. Like, this is beyond ridiculous at this point. Like, I am so disgusted by this. And now you're trying to, you're just trying to condition kids to believe what you want. Pathetic, Lucasfilm. What a pathetic company this is. Pathetic excuse for a company. I don't know what they're. I don't know when they're going to learn. I don't know when they're going to learn. But this is a disaster. I am very, very. I'm not even shocked. Actually, I, I, I guess I should be shocked. But after everything they've done, you know, and you kind of think, oh, oh, they're probably learning. They're probably going to fix things. They're not fixing anything. Like they're not. Like this is this this shit is unbelievable. That they actually again an active decision was made, 
an active decision to take this scene and completely change what actually happened into what they want kids to believe. An active decision. How ridiculous is that? Like, I can't believe this. But it happened. This is what Lucasfilm is. This is what Star Wars is. This is all about agenda-driven identity politics. It has nothing to do with Star Wars anymore. Star Wars is dead. Like, the Star Wars that we love and we continue to fight for, like, it is actually dead right now. It, it, it can still come back when there's a different leadership involved, but for, for all practical purposes, the Star Wars that you know and love, the Star Wars I know and love, it is gone. And it has been replaced by a social justice agenda. Like, that's all they care about. These people are absolutely crazy. They are obsessed with race and gender and political messaging. That's it. So what do you guys think about this? Are you as disgusted as I am? Let me know in the comments below. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.